Hello everyone, Stephen Rogers Lim here. Welcome back to my channel and video. So today I am doing the review video for this 1-6 scale Fennec Shen by Hot Toys from the Disney Plus show or series, The Book of Boba Fett. So of course this is a 1-6 scale Star Wars character acted by Ming-Na Wen. So probably before I move on to the rest of the video, just want to quickly mention that once again, I'm able to do this video under natural lighting, natural sunlight in the day. As always, hope it is a better, enjoyable experience, viewing experience for everyone by doing my video in the day. So I think we can look at the overall appearance of the figure and the accessories. Quite a fair bit of accessories there for this Fennec Shen. And of course, beautiful figure, a head sculpt there. Definitely looking a lot like Ming Na Wen. So I think first impression overall look of this figure is really excellent all right so probably we could go down to the technical aspects or technical review of this figure and its accessories itself so come let's look at the accessories that is included in this Fennec Shen figure. So of course this is her iconic blaster rifle. So I think you can see for yourselves there everyone. This is the so-called assassin's rifle or blaster. I think it's beautiful. Beautiful blaster rifle there together with the scope and then the rifle sling there definitely the iconic of or unique to Fennec Shen herself in the orange black color so there's this pistol over here as well you can see the details there as usual as always by Hot Toys. So both this uh, pistol and the blaster rifle definitely not die cast but as always strong, durable material used. Strong durable quality there. And of course the details are excellent as always. So now let's talk about the hands. So on top of the two wrists or the pair of wrists or hands that are already on the figure, there is five more here. Five more extra hands to play around with. So as I like to mention all the time, this is definitely unique or characteristic of Fennec Shen herself. Unique to her. So I mean, Hot Toys makes the effort to make the wrist unique to each character and then the durability, the flexibility of the wrist, the hands are always there. So you can see for yourselves as well, I think the wrists are smaller, characteristic to that of a female's hand. So excellent quality and details there for Fennec Shen's hands as well those here so next we have the now I just wanted to say this I, I, I took some time to figure out what this are so these are actually Republic credits together with a so-called woven pouch there to have the Republic credits put inside and then of course this is the bottle the so-called uh, Correct me if I'm wrong, the alcoholic drink 
the Star Wars universe or Star Wars Galaxy. Just look at the details there. So there's this string like, uh, uh, I would say, string like covering on top of the bottle. Definitely how it appeared in Book of Boba Fett. So I think it's a great pose. The pose Fennec Shan drinking this so called alcoholic beverage. Blue alcoholic beverage. Pardon me if I don't know what it's called in the Star Wars universe. So I mean you can see great details there, the netting on the bottle. Beautiful great details there. And then there's this uh this is so called the dagger. So the dagger can actually be inserted into the rifle here. Not sure if I'm doing it correctly. Uh, let me pull this out. So I think these are just some details where you can definitely refer to the instructions for more info. Just wanted to show everyone how it is like. So of course there is this. Uh, I remember. There's this device here, if I'm not wrong, this ball here, this is like a so-called navigating or scouting or recce tool which Fennec Shen used before uh, entering the palace of Oh my goodness, what is his name? Jabba, right? Jabba the Hutt Palace, if I'm not wrong. This is the scouting or the recce tool where they used to survey, survey, do surveillance on the palace first before Boba and Fennec Shen attacked, which made him, made her, sorry, made her uh, definitely a first class, a uh, uh, top operative in terms of assassination and bounty hunting. So. These are the accessories. I mean, these are the details in the accessories there are in Fennec Shen's accessories. So, of course, there's this iconic blue. Sorry, what, what am I saying? Blue. Blue is the alcoholic drink here. The orange and black helmet there of Fennec Shen. So, uh, as mentioned in the instructions, she can actually put this on. So I, I will not be putting it on here to show everyone, but you can follow the instructions. Everything is there on the instructions. Just wanted to say that you can look at the details of the helmet. This is excellent details there. So the quality, I think definitely not diecast. Also not diecast as well, but durable enough, strong enough, beautiful enough, if you ask me. But then now let's look at the figure itself. I think I really want to take a bit of time first to admire the head sculpt of the figure, Fennec Shen. Of course, acted and portrayed by Ming Na Wen herself. I think you can look at the details of the hair, the ponytail. This is beautiful details there. By Hot Toys, as always. Look at the head sculpt there. Just look at the eyes, the nose, everything really is that of Ming Na Wen. Beautiful there if you ask me, look at the hair, details to the hair, ears. So an all around look at the outfit. I think you can really see all the details there, done by Hot Toys. No effort is spared in giving the utmost uh, authentic and real details of the figures as how they appeared in the movies, in the shows. I think you can see there, everyone, excellent details there by Hot Toys. So you, throughout the figure, you can see the iconic orange and black color of Fennec Shen, which defines her. This orange and black color of her. So, I, 
I mean, what more can I say? I think this is a beautiful, excellent figure itself. So, look at the orange here. Yep. So definitely last but not least, or maybe last and least. But I don't think it's last and least. Anyway, the figure stand, the display stand, Fennec Shen. So it's an underhook, groin, grabber, U-shaped kind of stand. Of course, Fennec Shen doesn't fly like Mandalorians on their jetpacks. Fennec Shen. Lucas Film 2023 Hot Toys Limited All Rights Reserve. So uh, I must say that this is uh, flat actually. There's no, uh, it's not a diorama kind of display base like that of Boba Fett's display stand. So this is flat, but I think it's beautiful enough. Of course, showing the planetary surface of Tatooine itself. Fennec Shen figure there, everyone. Acted and portrayed by the so-called legendary actress Ming Na Wen. Alright people, I hope you can bear with me for a while more, just some more information that I thought I left out. So this round device that was used to do reconnaissance or scouting of the Jabba the Hutt Palace. Now this device of course is removable, it was floating, it was flying in the show, now it is non-removable in this accessory, this toy, this blaster. Just wanted to share with everyone, but nonetheless, you can look at the details there, excellent details there. And of course, there are these coins. I think I was too quick in reviewing them, but I didn't mention it that I don't know what, what, what is the sign or, or the, the, what it represents here, but I think you can look at this, everyone. The, the details are there. This is, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think I'm right. This is the sign or insignia of the New Republic. So these are actually... New Republic coins. You can really see the details there. But Hot Toys, New Republic coins there. Now, how could I have completely forgotten about the uh, cybernetics uh, abdomen? So, uh, just a quick recap or intro. Anyway, you can remove the belt here. Alright, like this to review the cybernetics abdomen. So, Fennec Shen was, was of course like left for date in the desert of Tatooine and then he was saved by Boba Fett of course sent to the place where he was saved so he had abdomen gunshot wounds so how could I have forgotten to show everyone the details here so this is details of the cybernetics abdomen so the instructions there in the instructions sheet also show you tell you how to review this I just showed it to everyone as well so uh, quite nice details there thought I quickly show it to everyone and how could I have missed it out so glad uh, you have been enjoying this review video of an action Alright people, I have come to the end of this review video for the 1-6 scale Fennec Shen Acted by Ming Na Wen Now my next video would of course be a comparison video for this Fennec Shen Definitely I'll be comparing her with the so-called final suit or ultimate version of Boba Fett, the repainted version of Boba Fett. So I hope to catch everyone at my dad next video, which will be a comparison video of her, this figure, and Boba Fett himself. So this has been Stephen Rogers Slim here. Hope you enjoyed this review video. Maybe a few final points. 
think if you are a Ming Na Wen fan or Star Wars fan or probably a bounty hunter or assassin fan, of course in the Star Wars galaxy or universe, I think she is a must get. And I thought that if you enjoyed the book of Boba Fett, which I greatly did, that's why I got her. I think she would definitely look great posing and being displayed beside Boba or even sitting at the side of Boba's throne. So I think she appeared, correct me if I'm wrong, the Bad Batch as well. Or maybe even the Clone Wars. I'm not quite sure about Clone Wars, but I think the Bad Batch she definitely appeared. So Bad Batch, appearance of Bad Batch and on the Book of Boba Fett or even on Dinjarin's Mandalorian series as well. I think because of her many appearances, I think she is definitely a must-own figure, especially if you are a Star Wars fan. I'm not quite sure what the pricing is now, but I think if my impression or memory serves me well, I think she is quite readily available, not too expensive as well, so I think you can easily get her if you want her, the ultimate so-called assassin or bounty hunter. So I mean, personally, just to share with everyone, I already mentioned that because I really love the book of Boba Fett show, 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 so I really wanted to get her and I think she would look great beside Boba Fett together with other characters like Bo-Katan Kreese, or Cosca Reeves or even X Wolves. So she can be displayed with all these Mandalorian, different Mandalorian figures. Of course, with Mando Dinjari himself, and of course, Boba Fett. After all, they formed like an organization to rule over so called Tatooine. Pardon me there if I'm getting some of the Star Wars facts incorrect or inaccurate, but I just really wanted to say that these are the many reasons to collect, to buy Fennec Shen, and I'm really loving this figure. Ultimate Assassin, Bounty Hunter, oh great, I already just mentioned that. Anyway, I think this has been quite a long review video. Thank you so much for not just joining me, but staying with me in my review video. Beautiful figure there by Hot Toys. This has been Stephen Rogers Slim here. Um, if you haven't got already gotten this, I think you should get it. Anyway, Stephen Rogers Slim here. Take care. Goodbye. Signing off now. Don't stop collecting, people. See you. Take care. Bye bye. Alright people, I just want to introduce you to my Instagram account, Stephen Rogers Lim. So you could follow my account for many of the beautiful photos and images of 1-6 scale figures and accessories or even 1 quarter scale figures. So I hope you could follow my Instagram account, Stephen Rogers Lim. I have also created a Facebook group called One Six Community OSC. So I would like to ask and invite everyone to join this Facebook group, this great platform, forum-like discussion together with thousands and thousands of other members who are collectors and fans of One Six Scale Hot Toys collecting. So we talk about One Six Scale, One Quarter Scale and the related as well so the discussion here is rich great ideas here that that is exchanged between collectors and fans great knowledge photos memes images that are exchanged in this platform so i'd like to ask and invite everyone to join my facebook group osc to get the latest news and updates about one six scale collecting as well 
latest news and updates so i hope to see everyone on instagram and on facebook as well this has been stephen rogers slim people don't stop collecting